Hello everyone and welcome to Midboss, a new short series for the channel where we're going to be covering this fairly charming and, and quite faithful roguelike game developed by Kitsune uh, Games and in fact published by the same. It is probably more of a casual roguelike but then all roguelikes really were. They gave you as much time as you wanted to play the game so I would say that they were all casual though they had varying levels of skill required to ascend or, or complete them. The games weren't uh, like frenetic action. You had all the time in the universe to plan your moves. So I felt always quite chilled out when I played roguelike -like games. And that's actually why I enjoy them so much, I think. Now, this is probably a more faithful roguelike than most games that claim to be roguelikes. In fact, this game would have to try quite hard to be more like Rogue uh, without being Rogue, honestly. Though it does have a unique combat mechanic that we're going to be covering. Now, we're going to start a new game and... Uh, as all new games go, it is going to be procedurally generated, so this might be hard, or it might be really easy, we'll see. Right, skeleton, hey imp! How's that rat herding business? <laughs> yeah, wimp is more like it! Hey boss, look at this jerk! Hey, don't call zombie a jerk, that's me! <laughs> I love how zombie's name is now jerk. Yeah, it's not zombie's fault you're such a weakling. I met you! The real trick? Why, you little? The heroes have come! All monsters to their stations! What a jerk. Oh, it's the boss. I guess it's showtime. Remember, if you abandon your station, you'll be in trouble, wimp. Mmm. Yeah, you stay there. Where you belong. I love that his name is constantly changing. Just the worst. With the rats! Okay, well, that's them gone. Now, we are the imp. I honestly believe that the imp's name is Boss, and this little fire sprite's name is Mid, so Mid Boss. Hey Boss! I'm getting kinda tired of being bullied by the other monsters. How about you? With everyone distracted, we could finally show them who's Boss, Boss. Let's start by possessing that rat over there. Now, I don't believe there's a way that I can turn off the tutorial, so we're gonna have to be going through them for a little bit in uh, this first episode. Now, the mechanic that uh, I wanted to cover is the possession of animals. That's like a chief mechanic of this game. We're going to spend quite a lot of time being other creatures in this game rather than an imp. Also, you may have already noticed, but we're playing the role of the bad guys, or the good guys in the bad guy's eyes. So, you know, it's all relative, really. Now, the way we do this, we use the possession spell and we select an, an enemy. We have now made them a, uh, given them the vessel condition, so they are now ripe for possession. We simply need to kill them. Right now, we don't know what a rat's stats are, so it's all uh, great out, but you can, you know, rats in games, they're, they're usually fairly weak. Uh, now, this gives us an idea that, that being said, this rat has better stats in almost every way than we do, so uh, yeah, that's probably not something I should be too proud about. Uh, there we go. Now, because they died whilst under the effect of the, of the the, um, possession spell. Uh, how many turns does that last for? I think it lasts until they, they die. We got the choice to um, possess them, and now that we've possessed them, there are all sorts of different things. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, the the tutorial messages have actually stopped. So maybe it was just the the story elements, uh, which is quite fun. Now. The Imp class we have mastered. We've got all of the abilities that the Imp class poses. And the stats over here, they all um, trigger various things. For example, these are our meta stats. And when, when we're in the Imp form, we uh, increase physical damage, base value versus Imp. We multiply it by 0 0.5. So in our base form, our stats are halved. That's not so good. Whereas here for the rat, they're slightly better. Well, in some places, in some places they're worse, and all of these stats have various things that we'll cover over time. But what the real thing we want to see is the fact that it has uh, various abilities that we can unlock whilst in this form, and later on we can keep them. And that's that's a big part of this game. Now you can control it with the keyboard, mouse, however you really want to. I prefer the keyboard just because I feel a little bit more confident with that. And uh, yeah, you just go around being a jerk really and smashing uh, the. Overlord's dungeon because we can. Uh, is that something on the floor that we can collect? It was. We managed to get a little bit of money. Also, there is a sword there. And uh, generally, we just go around smashing the dungeon because, frankly, we've had enough of being bossed around and told that we're weak. Damn it. 
Uh, almost everything is uh, you can destroy, though some things are a lot easier to destroy uh, when you've actually got a character who, who wields a weapon, for example. Now, we can equip all of these even in rat form. And what happens then is it'll affect our stats. Most things affect stats. Uh, this staff, for example, is a two-handed, but it's pretty good. I think that's plus two to hit and plus two damage. It does magic type damage. So yeah, sure, we'll grab that. Uh, identification scroll. We don't. Well, actually, we've got two scroll potions of the same type. Let's identify one of them. Stamina potion. Brilliant. So we've got a little bit of stamina. This down here is your stamina, your mana, and your health. So uh, that is going to be. Depending on the types of attacks and abilities we've unlocked, that'll become important. When you see crates, the crates have crate fish inside. There's a bit of a sort of little meta game. It's very similar to Loot Fisk for anyone who has played um, Dungeons of Dreadmore. You want to collect as many as you can because eventually you can give it in to someone who will give you things for it. Now, I do actually want to see the names of things around. Now, my health, you may have noticed, actually got restored when I possessed a new creature. If I leave a creature's body, I'll get a little bit of health back, but not a whole lot. Now, what I don't want to do is to poison this rat, uh, because I want to take it over. The thing with poisoning is it persists when you've taken them over. So, I'm not going to gain anything here, except a full heal. Which, you know, why not, basically? Um, but yes, you, you really don't want to uh, poison something or burn something just before you take it over because that's kind of silly because it's going to be your body in a few moments and you don't want to start your with a body that's on fire. Uh, now, what are we going to see down here? Again, this is a procedurally generated game, as most roguelikes are, so the levels will be vastly different. But I'm actually quite fond of procedural generation, though it can sometimes go awry because when something is completely random, then it can it, it doesn't balance so well. Now we've got a Tome of Flame Strike with three charges, attack uh, which has 35% chance to burn your foes for seven turns, burns inflicts 2% to target's maximum health per stack as fire damage at the start of every turn. So you can actually stack it up and it also does a little bit of physical damage as well. Now uh, our rat is gaining experience over time. We can see down there that we're slowly gaining experience and our next ability, Underfoot, which will give us plus 10 stealth, will be learned when that time comes. Uh, the stealth mechanic, basically the idea is most animals, like bats, rats, they don't actually care if, if you're running around rampaging in the dungeon because they're not really dungeon critters. They simply inhabit the dungeon. But the dungeon denizens, so for example skeletons, zombies, more higher ranking monsters, they actually do care. And they don't like you going around doing your own thing. So you kind of want to avoid that where you can. So that's where the stealth stat really comes into it. Um, okay, well, we've uh, managed to unlock a liberate 450 crayfish. Now, part of that is because I did a little bit of a, um, a, a run previously just to test out the game. So I'd already managed to liberate quite a lot of crayfish. Uh, right, let's see what else we've got over here. Have we got much? I don't know. Let's see. There we are. Now, we've got um, resistance or toughness. We've got toughness from the boots, definitely. Uh, I'm fairly happy with my staff at the moment. I'm not in any great rush to upgrade that one but let's have a quick look what does resistance do increases magical defense toughness increases physical defense i'm not really fighting things that are using magic at the moment so i'm not going to worry too much about that one uh let's carry on hello cat merchant yeah i see you're finally on your way hey boss be careful something smells fishy about this cat i do like fish but i'm just a humble merchant if you're so ha harmless, how come I hear you trade with the heroes? Nobody's perfect. The profit is profit. I know you monsters don't use gold, so I'll take balls of yarn in trade instead. Look for me on the way down for some good prices. Maybe we'll just kill you instead. That would violate the non-violence clause of our furball agreement. When you're ready to embrace your destiny, go down the stairs next to me. Whatever happens, none will tell tales of your deeds. No one, rather. Um, boss, I really don't trust that guy. Interesting thing that the, the man said, though, there, that maybe we could kill him, because I've not considered that, but I, I must have missed it the first time I came through here on, in my uh, test run, but uh, I wonder if we can possess the merchant. 
What kind of effects would happen if we took over the merchant? Because traditionally in roguelikes, merchants are famously hard to kill. Hmm, I wouldn't mind being famously hard to kill, I must confess. So I doubt we're going to be able to do it So at the moment. Uh, let's see what we got over here. We'll take you. Thank you very much. Smash all of these chests naturally. There we go. And there was a bat up there that I might go and have a, a quick look at as well. Uh, there we are. We've got a chest with some armor in it. Now, my, unfortunately, my inventory is getting quite full. Right, let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, this is much better. Much high toughness and in, uh, endurance, which I like. Two-handed sword, pretty much the same, really. Um, what is the Plague Rat better at, though? Is it stronger? Um, because of physical damage, and because of magical damage. Yeah, we don't want a magic staff. We want a sword, really, to capitalize on that. Now, we could try and take over this bat. And I think that would be a good idea. So let's go ahead and use the possession spell on it. And again, I'm going to try not to poison it because I intend to try and take control of it. Okay, so it's a lot weaker um, in general, though it has higher magic resistance and spirit. It has more magic points. Sure, okay, we'll take it. Form unlocked. I'm going to grab that. Now, the form unlocked part. We know these forms. This one we've mastered because there's a star there. We know everything there is to know about that form. The rat had a couple of benefits. It had unlocked underfoot. It had unlocked um, in venom. But we have now taken over the acid bat. Now, the acid bat we have significantly less abilities with. But next ability will be acid puddle, where we'll be able to throw down some acid. However, in when you've possessed something, you can choose an additional form to kind of bring along with you. And as a result, I've gained access to the Plague Rat's abilities that I've already unlocked. Also, we've got a shield. It doesn't need to be identified, which is very nice. Gives um, some extra power, focus, and evasion. Ooh, I like that quite a lot. We do have a dagger, so I'm going to switch to that equipment there. That should actually be quite nice. But as a result of picking up the uh, Plague Rat, we do now have the abilities that were unlocked. Now, each creature can have multiple abilities, so you do have to select them. You have to select which abilities you want uh, assigned to that particular class, and then th that spills over and helps you out here. Uh, right, we've also got a level up, so we can start spending our points on our meta attributes. Now, the way that these work is because when we inherit, or rather when we possess a creature, its form multiplies our meta attributes either reduces them or increases them based on the the, the nature of the form we've taken um, but generally speaking that means that no matter what you put points into it will scale with the creature that you're using if you've got a powerful creature then it'll make your meta attributes more powerful if you've got a weak creature it'll make them weaker and so on and so forth um, now as you rise or increase uh, uh, drop them you'll see how that affects things I think that's a reasonable one we'll we'll start pushing for violence and relentlessness which is our health attribute sometimes you will pick up items which affect the attribute directly so for example a um, a staff which enhances your relentless attribute which would be quite important hello there rat uh, ooh, that is good that is a bauble of some sort um, power 2 focus 4 yes please we've actually got quite nice stuff right now ooh an unidentified Dagger. Let's have a look at you. Okay, it increases our focus. Um, sure, we'll replace that other dagger with it. Absolutely no reason not to there. It is a flat upgrade. Hello. And um, we don't actually need any extra uh, health right now. We're fairly good, so I thought I'd just use that ability there just because. And we're going to rest. If I press R... You'll rest until your stamina and your mana are fully charged. Now, generally speaking, stamina does not take very long to fully charge. Mana, however, does not charge while you're in combat. Stamina, you just need to kind of walk away from the combat and it'll be charging as you go. So uh, you are going to have to make use of resting to recover your magic points. Ooh, that's a very big bat over there. I think that may be something we want to take control of just for the stat bonuses we gain from it. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about you. Our equipment is giving us a lot of power in combat right now. 
Wow, lots of different types of, of uh, creatures here, actually. Okay, uh, we'll grab this. Um, I had kind of wanted to do more with this character so that I could unlock more of his abilities, but uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you can just willfully change your your creature type. You only gain um, experience for the creature that you are currently morphed into. So let's actually have a quick look. Where are we? Because the Acid Bat right now doesn't really do much for us. It has no abilities. And it's kind of kind of flimsy in most ways. Now, one thing you can do is you can shapeshift into your original form if you want to. And whilst in your original form, you actually have a couple of different benefits. Though it really starts becoming um, better once you've got multiple mastered forms. Um, sure, we'll take you on. We'll see if we can take you down. I'm going to wonder what happens if I cast this on you and then choose not to possess you. Oh, honestly, you're doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's try and poison you, shall we? There we go. You can take a little bit of extra damage. Okay, I'm going to say no. Um, no, we did not get any uh, benefit. Ooh, my lord. Hello, you're probably uh, an enemy of some sort, aren't you? Yep, okay. Well, I definitely want to uh, in uh, possess an enchanted sword, but I'm probably going to die. Yeah, three damage. Run away! I'm a little bit faster than it is. This is very nice. Let's uh, run away down here. I am very fast, actually. That is great. I want to get down here where I can rest, because I really should have rested before I attacked anything, because I want my uh, ability to poison. Right, now rest. There we go. And go and find that sword again. Hello. Let's make sure you are actually... Oh, actually, you've already got that effect on you. There we go. Very close to death. Let's not die. So, I'm going to depossess this creature. I'll get a little bit of health back from it. Let's make sure that I've actually got some forms with me. So, I would like the Plague Rat, and I'll bring along the... Well, see, the thing with this, Soul Fatigue, incurred when changing equipped forms. Reduces all stats by 5% per stack after the first. Cleared when changing forms. Mm, right now, we've got no penalty. We've added the, the Plague Rat form, so we've got a little bit higher stealth. But if we were to add anything else, then we'd start stacking penalties. So right now, until we've actually got um, some really powerful forms, which are affecting our stats in a very positive way, I'm probably going to avoid doing that too much. But yeah, there we go. We definitely want to take over this possessed weapon. Thank you very much. Let's go and have a look at you. Flaming Sword. No abilities, nothing. But we'll get Flame Strike soon. That will probably be a very nice one to have attached to something else. Uh, right, so with that, I'm going to bring along the Plague Wrath because why not? We could eat that, uh, sorry, uh, take that potion, not knowing what it does, and just be kind of crazy. Or we can choose life and not do that. I'm going to choose not to. But we did lose a bit of health there simply because we'd already taken the. Uh, We'd poisoned our, uh, the body, as, as I mentioned. Not the wisest thing to do, really. Let's see if we can get some good items from around here. Let's grab you. Anything super amazing? Evasion plus 9, Mastery Guard 15%. Um, Master Shield of Power. I mean, he's got Guard. I Epic offhand weapon. I mean, Evasion is going to go down, but that seems like a good trade, honestly. Um, yeah, I think there's there's not really much reason not to go for that one. Got the... Oh, fine. We're going to grab a potion. Drains 11 stamina. That is fine. We're just going to rest that back. Okay, so... I'm quite tempted to keep this particular sword, but... I happen to know that this creature is a vampire bat, and as a result, it has an ability that I would really like to train. So, let's go ahead... And possess it. It's also got quite a lot of power, actually. There we go. Now, this one starts with an ability, which is going to be very nice for us. It starts with the Life Leech ability, so that's actually particularly nice. Um, and once again, we're going to bring along the Plague Rat, because it's the only one that I have an ability with, so it means we'll I'll bring it along. Uh, right. I'm going to increase our health just a little bit more, and then our violence quite a lot. So there we go. Right, well, let's go and kill the vampire bat up here. It should be around here somewhere. We've now got the ability to drain life, which is fantastic. 
Though, uh, there it goes. It just drained a little bit of our life. Let's see if we can't take some back. I did a lot more damage to it. Didn't quite... Well, I suppose I, I did uh, heal up. Not too bad there. Um, we're making progress towards the next skill, which is innocuous, which will increase our stealth by 20%. That's actually a pretty big upgrade there. That is going to be a huge upgrade for us. All right, moving on. Let's see what we have down here, shall we? A long corridor with another vampire bat. Hello. I wish to kill you, as it happens. And I'm going to start draining them your life if I can. There we are. Almost fully topped up. And rest to recover my stamina and magic. Right, we've been everywhere down here, though. There is still one little place that we can go up here. Now, somewhere around here, we're going to find that cat merchant. We'll be able to sell all of the junk that we're carrying. That will be a massive, massively good thing. Uh, it's kind of annoying that you poisoned me because there's nothing I can do against that. Uh, at least not yet, anyway. Hello. Wow, our health is ruined now. You scallywag, you. Well, I think we're going to open up with some uh, attacks. We're going to just drain your friends until we get our health back. What's this? Oh, wow, that was a gigantic um, crate of crate fish. Who keeps putting their fish in crates? Rather bizarre, honestly, if you ask me. All right, another tome. Let's see what we've got. This is a tome of magic arrow. A magical attack that deals standard damage. Very well, that seems quite reasonable. Uh, you can control with the mouse if you want to, and actually it is a little bit more convenient in, in some ways. Uh, we'll just smash our way through all these crates. They do sometimes contain uh, items. Uh, I hadn't noticed that before, but very well. Uh, also, I would super like to drain your life, please. So let's go ahead. Womp. Uh, ooh, the new ability learned. We've learned innocuous. Now we can find out what we're training. Oh, we're, our inventory is full. That's just kind of disappointing, honestly. Uh, ooh, that is super good. Let's grab that. I know I can stack some items. Uh, that can go down the floor. Two-handed sword can probably go down the floor as well, but it's fine for now. Let's pick up this tome. What have we got? Tome of Rust. Attack which has a 20% chance to poison your foe for five turns, inflicting force times 0.2 damage at the start of every turn. So one-fifth of your force every turn. That wouldn't be a, a bad thing, certainly. Uh, that's just a corridor. Where is our cat merchant friend? I wish to sell you all of my junk. Now, I don't know if the, the cat merchant is on every floor. I'm just going to have to find him because right now my inventory is way too full. Uh, cat merchant. Uh, though, that being said, yeah, sure. I guess we can eat a couple of rats. Also, rescue all these fish. There we go. Fish rescuing. It's, it's a little bit more noble than I would like being a monster, but oh well. Uh, is that actually common? It's uncommon. Okay, well, I'll drop a common for that then. I'll slowly build up all of the common loot on me. Uh, we don't have to be that thorough at the end of the day if we just want to wander around. Now, what's this? Shrine of Devin the Radiant. Make an offering? Uh, I could give you my shield of power. It's a rare offhand weapon, I guess. Tome of Rust. Um, maybe a tone of magic arrow? Can I give you that? Okay. What just happened there? Um, innocuous. Imposter. Imposter is an imp ability. Um, turn of our stealth. Underfoot. It actually didn't do anything. All harmful potions have been transformed to beneficial by Devin's blessing. Oh, okay. Your offering by the Devin the Radiant was accepted. That's a shame. We didn't have any that I'm aware of. Oh, wait. No, we've got this. Now I know that that is a positive potion at this point. Uh, potion cures you of poison. Okay, well, as with uh, many, many roguelikes, when you quaff an unknown potion, you learn what it is, and then from that point on, for the rest of that run, you'll know what that what that potion does. Um, usually it would be like a, a radiant potion, a magenta potion, whatever descriptor it wanted for it. But in, the, in this game, it, it's just a, a colored potion like that. Now, we know that they're all stamina potions, so it, it is kind of worth doing, I'm going to say. But you probably don't want to do it all the time. Um, is there a way that I can manipulate this and work on it? No? Okay, well, fair enough then. Moving on. 
I was hoping that we could do some crafting, but it doesn't seem that we can. Hello, vampire guy. Uh, please, please don't drink my blood. I, I like it. Please. I, I need all of my blood. Leave it inside me. Stop, you scallywag. Ow! You swine. I wish I had uh, mana. You know whose fault it was I didn't have mana? Mine. Yeah, I should have rested. Uh, right, okay, well, continuing on. Let's head on up. Oh, there you are! Oh, I've been looking for you everywhere. Okay, now, we've got 34 balls of yarn. <laughs> I love that the currency here is balls of yarn. Um, pretty much all of this can go, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, we can see what we currently got equipped, so you can, you know, make judgment calls on that. Um, but really, the majority of this, uh, Shield of Strength? No, that's not better than what I've got. That shield has not been identified yet, so I will identify it first. Ropes, um, that can go. Shield of Focus, that can go as well. Right, let's uh, use this on the shield. Uh, strength plus two. Hmm. I just don't think it's really worth me keeping. Now, you can buy things back if you desperately want to, but only the last couple of things, so be aware of that. Don't don't throw all of your good stuff away. Now, we've got a lot of balls of yarn. We could purchase some really nice things. That staff is actually really good. Um, but this here, rare main hand weapon, plus one spirit, plus two strength. Um, damage is not too bad. I think that's plus one to hit, and then plus three damage. Gore Fist. Um... Gorefist makes your size count as huge for Gore's damage bonus. Gorefist counts as unarmed, even when equipped. Hmm. Okay. Cold Iron Cleaver. It's a unique main hand weapon. Cold Iron Cleaver deals plus 50% damage to magical creatures. That's actually pretty nice. Amulet of Spirit. Leather Armor of the Endurance. None of those are particularly... Odd looking potion. It says P and P on the bottom. Uh, okay. Uh, cure potion, 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 potion. We don't know what any of these potions do. We could buy them and then have a uh, pay to identify them or to get rid of curses if we picked up something that was cursed. Um, I mean, that one's quite nice. An axe of endurance that does a whopping great deal of damage. Um, I don't know. The sword of spirit really is standing out to me, though. Yeah, we're going to purchase the sword of spirit. And equip that straight away, and then sell off the Dagger of Focus, which we no longer require. Alright, there we go. I mean, at this point, we could go back through the dungeon, picking up all the sort of stuff. And I probably will before we uh, leave this dungeon, but I'll do that off camera. Since I'm just going to be doing it to get uh, vendor trash. Uh, well, I mean, you know, the stuff that's around me right now, there's no reason not to pick that up. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go everywhere and pick everything up. On camera, at the very least. I will do it, because this is a roguelike, and that's how you play roguelikes, damn it. Uh, right, uh, we'll get rid of the staff, the wand, the plate armor, though. Ooh, that might actually be quite nice. Those boots are a bit better as well. The shield of power. Yeah, that can go. Okay, well, let's go and have a quick gander. Let's see what you got. Uh, constitution plus one, toughness plus four. I mean, I kind of like that. Let's just have a quick look. Constitution increases hit points, and toughness increases physical defense. Currently, we're getting some from heavy boots. Um, resistance increases our defense from magic. So, uh, sorry, endurance. Let me have a quick look at that. What's endurance? Endurance increases stamina. I actually don't care about that as much. So, let's go with these. There we go. And we'll sell these off as well. Fantastic. Okay. Onward to glory. Or not. You know, we're, we're evil, so it's probably not going to be that glorious. Uh, right. Time to drain you of all of your bloods. All of them. We're actually getting some good uh, heals from that, actually. Wow, okay. That was particularly good. I will be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be that effective. I'm very impressed by that. Okay. It does pay to have a look at the, the equipment that you've got and the skills and what they're based on. This is based on magic. So, yeah, we're not really built for that. Um, and it may be worth us having a look at that. As kind of, oh, dear me. I appear have to have done a silly. 
An animated arsenal appears. Uh, you know what I could do, though? <laughs> Let's possess that. There we are. My guard mastery is activated. Thank you, but dealt no damage. Fantastic. Let's drain you of all of your blood stuffs. Uh, and then just hit you a lot. Seems that I'm doing a reasonable amount of damage. I can always stop uh, converting something else. Ooh. Oh, wow. The static. Naff. Super naff. But I'm going to take you anyways so I've got your form. All right, let's actually have a look at you. What, what kind of ability have you got? Weapon Master. Okay, that's actually not bad. That would be good as a support form. If I had that kind of... Um, those skills equipped, that would be really nice. Okay, I would like the Vampire Bat as my support form here, though. Robes. Oh, I haven't got anything to identify that. I love the way the colors change based on uh, how you've... Um, taken over things. We've also unlocked the dive attack with our bat, which is quite nice. Uh, right, let's see. We're just outside of your range, so let's move in. And we can attack from afar. That's actually really, really quite nice. It's a stamina-based ability, though. So that's a bit of a problem, because I just forewent using stamina-based abilities. Really, you can even drain my blood from that far away? You scoundrel, you. Right, well, let's go and uh, have you... Tell me what these things are. There we go. Spent a couple of balls of yarn on that. Stealthy Boots of Force. Wow. Okay, there was no way you were going to beat that. I really should have checked it first. Uh, no, that's no good. No, I think we can just sell all of these. So, sure, you can have all of these. I have no desire for them. There we go. And we're going to continue on with our adventure. I am probably going to be getting rid of the, the arsenal as soon as I can. Because this is a really rubbish... Ooh, we've got... Is that, is that what I think it is? I think it might be. Um, let's provoke it, shall we? Can I, can, I re can I rest? No? No resting for me? Oh, it's noticed me. Ah! Well, that's awkward, actually. Uh, I would like you to not be able to, uh, to hurt me, frankly. Okay, well, that works. That definitely works. We're actually doing a ridiculous amount of damage. How much do we... We're really nerfing our stats being the animated arsenal, but we're doing fairly well. Uh, right, I'm going to... Hmm, cruelty. Link to criticals, minimum damage, and condition strength. Yeah, I think we'll go with cruelty. Let's, uh, let's start increasing that a little bit there. Uh, right, how close are we to this? I have no idea how far off unlocking that ability we are. But I really do want to unlock it soon so I can start playing with the animated arsenal. And that is our way down. Fantastic. No, no, there's no running away. Unless there is. There we go. Attack from afar. And then run away. Because I need more stamina to be able to do it again. There we go. Unfortunately, I can't do it. There we are. And now let's move in for the kill. There we go. Wow. We're actually doing ridiculously well. Uh, was there any more places we could investigate? There's actually a little place down there as well, so we may as well go and check that out too. And then I'm going to lay down a cut and go and uh, gather up all of the loot and go sell it to our merchant friend. Oh, hello. Uh, we'll just wipe you out, please. Please don't get multiple attacks. That's just cheating. Massive cheats. I'll take you. Grab all of that. Now, I believe this is holy water. Yes. Now, that can remove a curse. And it'll always be able to remove a curse. I've got lots of stamina potions. My goodness. Um, cure potion. Let's see if we can find any tomes, perhaps. No. Nope. That's fine. Oh, there we go. We've got an identify uh, identification scroll. Very, very useful. As per pretty much any fantasy game, having a good stack of identification scrolls is... Pretty high priority, actually. Oh! That is a zombie. It will be death. It is very powerful. Now, our save increase is we've got a ridiculously high stealth right now. If we look at our various um, stealths, we've got Possess Imposter, which gives us plus 25% stealth. Because they just think, oh yeah, it's just a regular monster. It's not an imp. It's fine. We don't need to be uh, cautious about it. Uh... An enchantment animates you and increases your attribute. Oh, okay. Well, I was thinking we were doing a whack of damage, considering our attributes were meant to be um, nerfed. 
Um, stealth increased by 20%. Okay, well, let's just have a look at this again. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. That seems to imply that we shouldn't have this, but... Uh, oh, there we are. The animated attribute has given us massive bonuses. Okay, I take it back. We're actually incredibly strong. That looks really, really rare. And really, really valuable, and I approve. Um, let's uh, make sure we grab all of these. Now, what was that armor? Cruel Vorpal Plate Armor. I approve of anything called cruel. Uh, toughness plus three, constitution plus six, force plus... Yes, okay. I accept. I don't even need to read it anymore. I accept. I know I accept. Let's just get on with it. There we are. Womp. And... Hmm, let's just go ahead and... No, I don't appear to have any kind of magic. Can I, can I rest over here? No. Ah, oh, quite annoying, I must confess. All right. Well, let's try and take you on then. Now, the saving grace here is the zombies are famously slow. So I should be able to just keep ahead of it. I mean, eventually it's gonna catch up with me, but there's not much I can do about that. And let's wait for you over here. And I'll pass a turn, there we go. If you don't move, you actually regenerate uh, stamina quite quickly. I could just attack you here, but yeah, actually, you're not doing that much damage to me. In fact, you're missing quite a lot, so I approve. You know what? Let's... Ah, uh, scallywags. I really do need to uh, rest up. So I'm going to run away from the zombie while he's slowly chasing me, because I want to possess that zombie. I feel that this would be... Very good thing for us. Right, there we go. Rest. There we are. Right, let's go and deal with you, shall we? Um, can I actually reach you from here? I can. I accept. Uh, I will do so again. Now, however, I've used up my, uh, my magic points. I didn't realize it was going to use up that many. There we go. I really need to cast a spell on you before I do anything else, it seems. Uh, so there we go. You will now be mine when, when I kill you. Which is going to happen very soon, I promise. And let's drain some of your health. That was a pretty rubbish drain there, i got to confess. There we go, fantastic. Wow! Those are very high stats. I accept. Form unlocked, ability learned. Let's uh, grab that now. Let's uh, quickly go and check. Did you manage your... Ah, oh, you didn't quite get it. Damn. Now, okay, well, let's have a look at Body Slam. You fling yourself at the enemy, attacking at plus 25% to hit, plus 50% minimum, ma oh, sorry, minimum maximum damage. Ah, okay, so it's not to hit and then damage. It is minimum maximum. Um, but this one is percent penalty to accuracy. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. I approve. Shambler, passive, minus one speed, strength increased by 20%, constitution increased by 20%. Okay, well, uh, we're going to have a hard time chasing anyone down with this character, but it should still be a worthwhile character to have. Right, I'm going to go and collect up all of the goodies, and I will bring you back when we're ready to descend to the next level. Okay, there we go. I've just sold everything, though. I did notice that, uh, unfortunately, I cannot have the, uh, the shopkeep identify my potions, which is a bit annoying. I do not need a slow potion, not as a zombie. Let's just sell those silly potions. And uh, the poison potion as well. And the slow potion. Thank you. I'm not sure if you can throw those, by the way. Maybe you can. And if you can, then that was perhaps a silly thing to, for me to have sold. But, ah, it's done now. I refuse to regret it. Right. We are heading on to the next level. Now, our zombie friend here should be pretty tanky. I mean, 46 health. So, uh, let's completely regenerate first. And, of course bring along our vampire bat abilities because I really like them. We are now a uh, green zombie, which I feel is a little bit more appropriate, actually. Hello, vampire bat. It only makes sense for me to kill you using the abilities of your uh, ally, of your kin, rather. There we go. Most of the, the stuff that we're finding right now is pretty useless to us. Pretty low, low level stuff, but that's fine, I suppose. Uh, sure, I'll just drain your health a little bit and then have a flying attack. Oh, you had a book on you. Were you a learned vampire bat? 
Uh, let's see. So we've got these tomes. Envenom, Dive Attack, which is an ability we have from our Vampire Bat. Rust, Magic Arrow, and Flame Strike. And, and so far, I've used none of them. Um, I will try to remember to do that. But we've just not been in a dire enough situation where it necessarily needed to use up my abilities. Ooh, Cursed Items. Lots of Cursed Items. Uh, oh, well, you know what? That's not too bad. Sure, I'll take you. Um, I would, I would prefer it if you'd stop doing that, frankly. Womp. I approve of that. That was quite funny. Uh, yeah, you're not going to get through me, I don't think, until I, before I've killed you. So that being said, doing very little damage. Not a huge fan of that. Let's try and uh, drain your life, shall we? Ah, killed you by sucking your life out. I approve. Right, sure, I'll possess this animated armor. There we go. Let's have a quick look at what this gives us. Uh, what these items are, sorry. Um, yeah, these are not particularly great. These are nothing to write home about. We'll just sell them, I think. Now, this one, Armor Master. Boost and armor gain the... Oh, it would be great to have both the um, animated arsenal and the animated armor as... as um, uh, properties for a, for a different creature. I think that would be particularly amazing. Let's go with Vampire Bat again, though. Of course, because we definitely want their stats. Uh, we'll pop a bunch into Relentless and then keep pushing Cruelty up a little bit. Now, that is already a little bit higher than normal, simply because of... Uh, well, I dislike being poisoned, frankly. Uh, that's already a little bit higher than normal, simply because of our gear increasing our cruelty attribute but now that we've possessed the form and know about it we can actually see its uh, stats so we can easily see how close it is to death and whether it's a fight that we really want to take on at our current health level uh, we'll go over this way hello hello zombie I wish to slay you it is true your slaying shall be great unfortunately I'm doing very little damage right now that makes me super sad but I do have an awful lot of health, thankfully. I've got lots of stacks of poison, though, it seems. There we go. Now, let's rest a little while. Now, resting does nothing for your health, as you may have noticed. That is purely for stamina and magic points. Now then, I wouldn't mind draining you of some life. Uh, we didn't really do much. Let's try it again. Nope, still, still going badly. Um, I'm going to try and possess you because I actually think you do a lot more damage and I want to try and level up your ability, frankly. I don't think it's wise to constantly switch um, forms. It seems that you really get the best ben benefits out of possessing a single form and then mastering it before moving on. But I do want to grab these things just so I got their health bars, if nothing else. That's very useful for information for me to have. And as soon as you're dead, there we go. Yes, I would like to take you over. There we go. Wow, look at all of that. All uh, right, let's grab these things. What have we got? We've got a very nice axe. Critical plus six. Damage plus three minimum plus eight maximum. Oh, that is, that is difficult to say no to, frankly. Uh, I also want to know what this is. Uh, it's a cursed one. There's a lot of um, power... Uh, negatives. So our damage is right now 9 to 21. That is super duper good. Super duper good. I like it a lot. Um, next level is only 15. Well, let's go and have a look. Now, we've automatically brought across Vampire Bat because that is the way that we set this um, particular class up last time. Uh, we're not that far away from Shambler, I don't think. So we should be able to get there fairly soon. Hello. What on earth are you? Oh, it's a it's an enchanted shield. I see. I thought there was a shield above the the bat. Ah, I'm tempted, but I've only just got this bloody ah fine. Let's take you out then. I I would have preferred. To, oh my goodness, you're weak. Well, actually, saying that, focus and power are pretty high. A flying shield. Very well. Let's check out about you. Tough toughness increased by ten percent. Okay, that's not a terrible setup, frankly. Um, sure, let's bring across the animated arsenal. Oh, wait, no, the animated arsenal is not a particularly good one. Uh, let's go for vampire bats. There we go. 
Uh, we'll grab that shield. It dropped the shield. That's fantastic. I mean, what what was I expecting, really? But somehow I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's uh, go down hither. Find out what's in this room. A lot of crates that we can liberate of their crate fish. Again, though, I must pose the question. Who on earth is going around this dungeon just leaving crates of fish everywhere? Why? Why would you stuff all of your fish into crates? It makes no sense. There we go. We're doing a wallop of damage. Really very nice. Rats go down in one hit, which means that we just get lots of uh, experience. Uh, earring can go in the second accessory slot, so there's really no uh, reason not to accept that one. We've got a Tome of Scurry. Oh, okay. That might be useful if we uh, encounter a difficult fight where we need to be able to move a lot faster than we currently do. Hello. Wow, that was a that was a heck of a hit there. Very nice indeed. Armor and another shield. Okay. Hello. I was not aware that the creatures could just randomly walk around the dungeon, honestly. I assumed that they would only go where I'd seen them previously. Hello there. This would be a magic bat. Now, how close are we to gaining this skill? Um, I'm going to keep going until we gain that skill. I don't like having... Oh, there we go. Ability led. Marvellous. Skeleton over there. Oh, we definitely want to claim a skeleton. That is something we absolutely want. No, oh, leave me alone. There we go. And we have healed up. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything useful around here. For oh, skeleton has noticed me. Well, time to fight then. And uh, since we're at full health, let's just... Oops, I missed. Oh, dear. That was a heck of a wallop you gave me there, skeleton. Not a fan. Never mind. We've got high strength, focus, force. Um... Yes, I very much like all of those stats. Let's take all of these. Right, reanimate. You have a 20% chance to reanimate with 30% HP when killed. Wow, that's a powerful ability. My goodness. Just from being in this form, we have that ability. I approve of that enormously. And also, it's walking around with its own weapon. And that just feels good. All right, well, let's have a look at the gear we've got. Honestly, we need to go and uh, get rid of some of these things. But naturally, we're going to bring, bring them along. Well, actually, let's just double check, shall we? You have nothing, nor do you... I mean, you've got Body Slam. You haven't got Weapon Master yet. The Flying Shield will only had one effect, and that was Toughness. Increased Toughness by 10%. That one's been mastered, which is actually quite nice. It has no other qualities to have, but when you, um, I believe when you possess a, a, a creature which is mastered, you get its innate ability, which I can only assume is this. Uh, no, actually, no, it isn't its innate ability. It's just a passive ability. Um, if I find the imp, for example, it's an innate active ability. So because the imp is mastered, no matter what I chose, so let's say, for example, it had seven different abilities. No matter what I put here, any innate ability would be granted to me whether I had selected it as my equipped ability or not, as long as I'd mastered that creature. Um, but given all of that, then, let's go ahead, I guess, with the uh, vampire bat. There, there's really no reason to mess with that particular setup. I think it's working very, very well for us. But we can no longer pick anything up, which is a bit of a shame, frankly. I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, I'm going to have to wait until you're closer for me to use that one. So I'll just fly at you from here. Now I'll try and poison you. Since I'm not going to be taking you. So uh, I do kind of want to draw your blood in. There we are. Not that, uh, you know, skeletons are famous for having much blood. Still. Got to take it where you can when you're a vampire. Uh, right. Let's head down here. Find out what we've got. We've got many small little creatures that I can very easily destroy utterly. Uh, I would like to draw out as much of your blood as I can. Eh, that's good enough. We're still getting a net gain. Well, we were, more or less. Uh, let's rip, uh, rest up, make sure that we can take on this little bat down here. Now, they never stop you from, or at least from what I've seen, prevent you from resting. Yeah, I'm not going to stand in an acid puddle. That just seems like a stupid thing to do. 
We're almost back to full health, which is amazing. Well done. Uh, we can't pick this up because our inventory is full, so let's drop that because I would rather have a tome. Uh, a tome of what? Tome of flames. I really do need to start using these. But, oh. Ah. You might be a bit of a problem, actually. I really should have rested. Oh, why I didn't do that, I do not know. You know what, though? I have got a tome of scurry. Now, this is going to allow me to take two moves. Leave me alone. I do not want to see you anymore. Rest. Ha-ha! I have rested. That's right. Now we can duel. You probably got crazy magic, though. Uh, right. Okay, so... Uh, sure, we'll open up with this, I guess. Oh, she did quite a lot of damage. And then uh, go for a flying attack. For a ridiculous amount of damage. And again, wow, they stood no chance. But they would be a really good one to have for... Oh, yeah, for the um, vampire bat ability. Okay, ability learned. Let's see what ability you have. You've got Staff Master. Staves and Wands gain the f uh, following procs when equipped. Staves 20% on hit to increase damage. Wands 20% on cast to reduce mana cost. Next ability is Magic Arrow. That sounds particularly good. Let's go for the Vampire Bat. It would probably make more sense to stack magic um, abilities along with... Um, uh, actually, no, we don't want that. Let's cancel that. With uh, with diff If you've got a magic form, grab magic forms to ac accompany it. Mastery, mana sheath, 20%. I mean, I could equip that in my offhand. But that is actually giving me power and focus, so no. We're going to go with this one. There we go. We are stacking our current... Abilities there. And what did we just pick up? We picked up just a random potion of stealth. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. We can run away then if we particularly wanted to. Uh, let's see how much I can mana drain for now. Let's uh, move in. Hello. Quite a lot. Though I didn't heal because I had nothing to heal. But that is a potent ability now. So, yeah, I think we really should try and focus. Um, I mean, there's certain support skills that are always going to be good, whether it's a magic character or not. But definitely want to try and focus that where we can. Let's uh, go ahead and rest up my uh, my mana there. But yeah, we're not going to do much damage at all if we're not using magic to do it. Come on. I want you to die, please. Thank you. Oh, my lord. The Flame Aegis. I think we need to drop something for that one. Uh, defense against magical attacks, no. Violence into man- uh, yeah, we're just gonna pump up our violence for now. That isn't just a physical attribute, as it mentioned there. Right, what- what are we then? Got one more identify scroll. Oh no. Let's, uh, get rid of that quality. So this is... Flame Aegis increases fire damage by 50%. Oh, I can only imagine having a flame sword would be good with this. Accuracy is increased by 6, force is increased by 4. Constitution is increased by the same amount, and toughness is increased by more. That we will take a hit on critical and cruelty. Like it'll it'll reduce an actual stat, which is a bit of a nasty one, honestly, because the stats affect so many things. We'd lose nine on that. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of want to. Uh, Mostly because of the force increase. Let's see how that's affected our stats. 2 to 8 damage. I mean, our accuracy is very nice now. Our evasion is rubbish. But focus and force are very high. Um, power is incredibly high. Okay, I think we're going to stick with this for now. Let's rest up my magic points. And take you out. That is a lot of damage we cause. But we do have to generate our health const uh, sorry, our mana constantly. Which is a bit of a problem, I must confess. Let's take you out again. Yep, 12 points of damage is glorious, I must say. Again. Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ability learned! 
And that's it. We've we've mastered the cultist at this point. So staff mastery and magic arrow are the only abilities they have. A magic attack that deals standard damage. Uh, okay, well, that's not necessarily a bad thing because I wouldn't mind taking you over in a moment. But uh, sure, let's uh, just leave you out of sight so we can regenerate our mana. And then, uh, well, that's a, that's a very long range ability. I like it. Wow. I approve. We definitely need to, to get that cast on you right now because this may take you out. <laughs> oh my lord, that's powerful. Ye gads. I approve of this. Um, basically, we're swapping power and strength around here. But that's fine because I want to learn your flame ability. Because that is going to be very, very useful. Um, we could go with cultists. Actually, let me, let me double check something. Cultists... Uh, Staff Master is passive. It has no uh, innate, so it doesn't really matter to us. Okay, well, I'm going to swap you for Vampire Bat then. Because I don't particularly care for the Plague Rat's abilities right now. Only nine damage. It's not great. But let's see how much we can drain for. Uh, a tiny little bit. Not Nothing uh, amazing, really. But let's have a look at what we do here. Not a great deal either. Uh, are they fast? Uh, they're as fast as we are. That's that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we'll do our best. Let's just hope that we take them down fast. Ooh, that was nasty. I disapprove of this so much. Okay, time for us to use something. First, scurry on ourselves. So we've got two turns. Now, do we have a health potion? We've got a stealth potion. Um, flame strike. Uh, we've got Envenom. Div dive attack. Rust. That's the ability of the skeleton, I believe. Magic. Yeah, sure, we'll use Magic Arrow. There we go. And ability learned. That was enough to get us our ability. Fantastic. And that is it. We've got Flame Strike. That's the only one that we've gained from that. That's fine, though. Um, attack, which has 35% chance of burning your foes for seven turns. Um, yeah, it's okay. Ah, we've got a lot of mastered forms now, actually. Ooh, hello. I wouldn't mind taking over you again, actually. So, first and foremost, let me move out here, cover my mana, and then cast that spell. Now, how far away this flame, uh, flame strike needs to be quite close. Bit of a shame, that one. Let's go for an early drain then first. Nope. Nope. I should be faster than it is. Let's go for another drain. There we are. And again. And a flame strike. It's fine. Yeah, we'll switch over since we've already mastered that form. There's no particular reason to not have it. Uh, rot poison damage reduced by 50%. Oh, that's quite nice. So that uh, I could possibly just use rot on me for a while. Um, down here, this little guy down there. We can just click on him for, for tips, by the way. Now, we've got a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to switch back to a more combat-focused set of abilities, I think. Yeah. Now, this is basically the Loot Fisk that I, I mentioned from uh, Dungeons & Dreadmore. Very, very similar. Cratefish King, hail and well met. I am the Cratefish King, ruler of all Cratefish. Hey, boss. It's something you don't see every day? Oh, I see, see. Ah, oh, yes. But too long my people have been stuffed into crates by the monstrous population of this dungeon. Stalwart hero, thou must needs aid me. I beseech thee, liberate my subjects from their cratey prisons. Hey, what should you call a hero? Besides, why should we help you, pal? We've got bigger fish to fry. Oh, my lord. I will bequeath thee riches, panciers, and artifacts of great power. Now that's a whole other kettle of... Oh, really, please will you stop, mate? Kettle of fish. I feel like this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thou hast deliberated 635 of my people. True to my word, I will grant thee a fitting reward. Wow, that's actually a lot of things. Like shooting fit... Uh, mid? No. Find me again, hero, when thou hast freed 650 or more of my people. Uh, very well. I, I, I'll do my best. My lord, there's a lot of stuff on the floor, though. 
I need to go over here and drop all of the junk that I don't intend to take with me or that isn't a particular high value. So anything common. Now, pick up all of the things. I, I can't even pick up all of the things. Got a plenty of of water. We've got a uh, sword of spirit, uh, an upgrade basically. Um, uh, it's not too bad actually. The, the increase to the, the lower range of damage is particularly nice. Ooh, you're gonna replace the amulet. I've got a regular dagger, got some plate armor. I cannot identify until I find someone who can identify it for me. Uh, the woes of being a hero. Um, hexed robes. Also get jinx light boots. The stealthy Vorpal Wand of Resistance. Wow. I don't think I can really say no to this, frankly. I really don't think I can say no to this. Yeah. Looks like we're equipping that then. Very well. Put that down as well. Go grab the rest of these. See what we got. Um, cool Vorpal plate armor. I mean, no, I'm fairly happy with what we've got there. Um, well, I don't think anything else is really going to be able to compete with that. My lord, once I find that, that cat, I am going to bankrupt him by selling all of this stuff. So much things to sell. My goodness. Hello. Hello. I wish I wish to slay you all. Uh, or, or not, I guess. That, that didn't really slay you as, as much as I had hoped, frankly. Um, could I perhaps convince you to be dead? Marvelous. Uh, do I know what that potion is? Mm, what do we get? The stores to health. It is a potion of health. Hooray! That is super duper to have. What are we? Boost speed. Fantastic. Now, with a little bit of bravery, we know what all the potions do. Or at least all the potions that we've discovered so far. Hello. I would really like it if you didn't suck out my blood. That's just rude, frankly. Uh, oh, good. Ability learned. Thank goodness. Uh, and we've mastered it. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. We have not. We want... Where's the zombie? There we go. So we've got Shambler now. Shambler is a passive. Uh, just means we're slower, but our strength is increased by 20% and constitution is increased by 20%. Infection. A normal physical attack, which will raise the enemy as a zombie minion if they're killed by it. <gasps> My lord, that sounds good. Why would I ever not want that ability? I, I don't think there's ever going to be a time where I would not want that. I'll tell you what I would want, though. A bloody merchant! They're having two chests is just cheating. Ooh, now that is something I wouldn't mind picking up. Let's grab you. Alright, anything that I need to unidentify... Uh, to identify, rather. Uh, there's a couple things. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, this wasn't really that useful, honestly. Please give me back my blood. No, 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 no. Give me back my blood. There we go. 63 health, though. That's actually pretty good. I can only imagine... Wow, okay. You're, you're really not doing much damage to me. I don't even think I've got that form. I think that's the magic bat. And I failed to get that form. I felt that it was just too weak. Too inconsequential. Didn't need it. This place is mostly full of boxes and animals, it seems. I mean, not that I mind that too much, but uh, it looks like we may be spending a little bit of time before we find that bloody cat. Oh my goodness. I want to find the cat before I move on, though. I don't know how large these, uh, these um, maps can be. Other than the fact that they can be procedurally generated, I have no knowledge of what their dimensions can, can realistically be. In fact, let's check on the map right now. Okay, we've thoroughly explored down there. Okay, so we've got a little ways up there. Uh, actually, I don't think we're, we're doing too bad for progress. I'm gonna aim to have finished exploring the uh, this particular level of the dungeon before we uh, wrap up the episode though. Ouch. You're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, you're doing an awful lot of damage. I really dislike it. I gotta be honest. I super dislike it. Uh, I'm going to use Tomus Scurry on myself, so I'm super fast. 
Then I'm going to use... Where are we? Health potion. Uh, you're about half health. Uh, can I use anything else? Fling strike, maybe? No. Some of them. Venom. Fight, dive attack. Okay, well, we'll go for Fling Strike then. There we go. Thank goodness. Ability learned. Very nice. Infection has been learned. Lo lovely. Biohazard. Passive. 10% chance to poison for three turns when physically damaged. Uh, I'm not a keen supporter of abilities that require me to take damage for them to do anything good. As well, many of you will know from previous games. I, I, I feel that that's basically banking on your own failure. And I don't think you should. Uh, there we go. Let's take it down. We should be able to do this very quick. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if that zombie has... I, I have infected it, it says, but I'm not sure if that's all I need to do or what. Ow! Okay, you do that better than I do. Am I going to get a little zombie minion? No. That makes me sad. I could not rise a new zombie from the last zombie. There's a deep sadness in me. Oh, poop. This may well be the end of this one. Uh, I mean, I guess that would solve the problem. Oh, quick. And venom. Ouch. Oh, 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 I'm alive. Ha ha. Flee. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no. It brought itself back to life. Cheat Haksu. Um, hmm. Some some dive attack. Uh, I mean, I don't really want you to be that close, frankly. Uh, I'll let you get a little bit closer, though, and then dive attack. Go. Oh, dear. My impy self, not nearly as powerful as a skeleton. That is unfortunate. Okay, please flame strike, kill it. No! <laughs> I am dead. I have died. The game is over. Well, that does uh, give us a convenient place to wrap this episode up at the very least. Press any key to continue. Let's have a look. Imp survived for 2,920 turns. Loved to be a vampire bat flying through the dungeon, sucking people's blood. Shame they got carved up with a rusty sword by a skeleton. I really like that. I like that that actually does um, does kind of tell you what you did the most. This is a death card. Death cards are card images generated upon death. Embedded within these images is detailed information about the run that just ended, including your inventory, statistics, and forms. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, saved cards can be used once to start uh, once to start with an item from that card in a new game. Cards also allow you to try again with the same seed and settings, either to improve your performance or show a friend who shared their card how it's done. Cards can be imported from files or from images online. Drag and drop a card file onto the game to import it. To import from an image online, simply right-click the image and select Copy Image Address Location, then Focus the Mid-Boss Game and Okay, yeah, fair enough. If you beat the game, you get a victory card with a gold border, which functions identically to death cards, but allows you to replay the game with a New Game Plus mode, where you start again with all of your items, abilities, or both. New Game Plus runs do not generate death cards when you die. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. That's actually fantastic. I like it. Enter to confirm. Escape to word. Um, well, since I, I like to play with the Vampire Vat so much, Count Avacula. There we go. Marvellous. And enter to confirm. Womp. Save. <laughs> that was fantastic. I'm really liking that little uh, mechanic there. Right, do let me know what you're thinking about the game down in the comments below. And remember to leave a like if you liked and a sub if you haven't. But I'm going to see you in the next episode where we will possibly try to focus on something other than a vampire bat. Maybe. I mean, it's pretty good ability, so I, no promises there. But we'll see what we can do. But until then, do take care, everyone. <laughs>